front lift. The C8 Corvette has an optional front lift system, and it's for things like this. You know, if you, I don't know if you can see this too well, if I can get you an idea what it's like when you're coming in the driveway and you scrape the front end of your car. And I don't want to do that. So they have an optional front lift that comes with a Corvette, which is pretty cool. And what it does, it lifts up the front end of the car about, oh, two inches, and uh, takes less than three seconds to do it. And uh, let me get in the car and I'll show you a little bit about it. Now in the car when you're using a lift system, um, you first of all have to know where the button is for the lift system. And the button is right here, it's the middle one. See the little lift insignia right there on the uh, middle one? That's it there. So what I'm going to do, if you watch the dash in the upper right hand corner, let me see get this camera just the way I want it. I'm going to hit the center button right there and watch what it says in the upper right hand side of the dash. It says vehicle raising and you can remember it by hitting the left arrow button on your steering wheel um, and it will remember it or you can dismiss it too uh, let me let me put it down I'm gonna press the press the center button again and watch what happens it says vehicle lowering press the check button to it says the check button it's the center button right here the scrolling one if you push that in you can dismiss that so that's the way you get rid of a uh, memory that you have, you know, you rem memory someplace here. Now, with my particular car, the end of my driveway, which is not that long, the end of my driveway, I've got it memorized to lift when I come in the driveway. So, if the uh, lift is down, which I believe it is, if I start backing up, auto raising due to location, see that? That's telling me that that. It's raising the car. The minute I put my foot on the brake, that kind of happened. Um, it's going to raise the car before I get to the end of my driveway because I have that programmed in to lift when I come to the end of my driveway. Now, with my old C7 Z06, I used to scrape probably 50% of the time. With this C8 Corvette and the lift system, once I programmed it in, in fact, even before I programmed it, that's the first thing I really did was to program this in my driveway, the end of my driveway. I have never scraped going out of this driveway. And sometimes I go pretty much straight out before I turn. I don't try the, you know, the real long angles that you kind of use when you when you get a low car, but this works great and I yet to scrape. Anyway, uh, what else can I tell you about it? I'm trying to think um, if your driver information center display displays lift system unavailable sometimes it'll come up and say hey the lift system isn't unavailable if i open the door let me see if i open the door and i want to um and i want to make the lift system work let's see what happens it says lift system unavailable see it they don't want you using the system with the door open so uh if the lift system is unavailable like we saw up on the screen there that means that I had a door open which I did the hood is open the car is moving over 24 miles an hour you're pulling up to the driveway and you see the lift is not going up it's because you're going too damn fast so slow it down at a 24 miles an hour then the lift system will work here's one that I read in the manual and uh, let me just <laughs> repeat it too many lift requests within a short period of time the lift system might be unavailable so the lift system could become unavailable if you're screwing around with the lift system too much I guess <laughs> so too many lift requests uh, within a short period of time and it'll just say hey I can't, you know, I, can't I have to take a rest <laughs> must <laughs> I don't know uh, and the other thing 
this is kind of funny, but they put it in the manual. They said, don't use the front lift to work under the front of the car. Why would you raise the thing two inches and stick your head underneath the car? Especially when later on, here's the, <laughs> the lift system goes down and you got your head trapped underneath the car. That's not too smart, is it? Let's get outside the car and I'll let me shut this thing off and go outside and uh, show you how this, how it looks from the outside. Okay, now we're looking at the, at the ruler. And now my wife is gonna raise the car up. Oh, it's going down. <laughs> it was already up. That was from uh, pre-programmed for my driveway. So we see the bottom number. Okay. Now we're gonna raise it up. And you can see how that works. All right, and you can look at the measurements, get an idea where it is. We're lower, gonna lower it. Let me get it nice and close here. We're gonna lower it back once more. And there you have it. The lift system. Checking the oil. What do we do to check the oil? Well, I'm looking down at the uh, temperature on the bottom left, right, right down here, and it says 172 degrees. That's in the ballpark. I think between 170 and 180 degrees is usually oil. anything above 170 degrees seems to be good for checking the oil. Now, the next thing you don't do is you don't shut off your car. You leave the car going. My previous C7 Corvettes, you always shut the car off and waited a few minutes and then check the oil. With this new C8, you don't, do not, N-O-T, do not shut the car off. Leave the car running, get out and check the oil. So you leave the car running, and over here is the dipstick. It's right in here. You pull it out, it comes out at an angle. Notice that? It comes out at an angle. Just like that. Okay, and then you take it out and check it. I've already done it. My oil is good. Here's the oil filler right here if you need to have to put any oil in. The other thing I would be careful of, if you have a belt buckle on, you have to lean in quite a bit to get the dipstick probably put a couple of nice scrapes along the side of your car so anyway that's it on checking the oil leave the car going 170 degrees and higher is just fine thanks for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button it's free doesn't cost you anything and hit the like button if you like the video it's free too and also there's a little bell down there in the bottom right hand corner as you look at it and that'll let you know when a new video comes out if you'd like to know that so thanks again for watching any comments any suggestions please put them down below I always like to hear comments and suggestions anything else you would like to see about the C8 uh, let me know I do have a, a launch control video coming up on the C8 that'll be uh, in a couple of weeks so keep an eye out for that one too all right thanks again have a great week